Welcome to the WHHI TV Daily News. I'm Betsy McDaniel. It's a beautiful fall day in the Low Country, and of course, there's still a lot to cover. So let's get started with a few headlines. And then there were 11. The monkey researchers at Alpha Genesis report the capture of two more of the escaped monkeys, bringing the total to 32 out of the original 43. Yamasee police say the two young monkeys are in good health and have been enjoying peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. 11 monkeys are still on the loose, most of which have been sighted in the woods adjacent to the facility. As has been the case since the beginning, area residents are asked to keep their doors and windows closed and locked and to not to try and apprehend any of the monkeys, but to call 911 if you do see them. Because of the deteriorating docks on the Beaufort River, the cruise ships that go up and down the intercoastal waterway between Charleston and Florida now have to dock in Battery Creek at Port Royal's Safe Harbor Marina. The 240-foot American Liberty, owned by American Cruise Lines, spent part of the weekend in Port Royal rather than Beaufort because of the situation at the Chambers Waterfront Park. Now, after the boat docks in Port Royal, up to 100 cruise ship passengers are bussed into Beaufort for tours that include carriage rides through the city's historic district. If you want to cause a stir in Bluffton these days, all you need to do is utter the simple number and letter combination 5B. But Bluffton's town council has been assured that a land annexation approved Tuesday night by the council has nothing to do with the controversial road project that could cut through a neighborhood in the Buckwatcher Bluffton Parkway area. Bluffton is now, however, 65 acres bigger in the area at the southwest corner of Buckwalter Parkway and Lake Point Drive, just west of the retreat at Grand Oaks. Many residents in that area see the annexation as the next step to connecting two pieces of the Bluffton Parkway. Residents believe that action would exponentially increase traffic in the area. Developers are looking to add medical facilities to the newly annexed land, but town officials say the 5B connection is not part of the plan. When we talk about missing and endangered persons being sought by the Beaufort County Sheriff's Office, we're usually talking about teenagers or the elderly. But now the Sheriff's Office is asking for your help in finding a 30-year-old white male. At the time of this taping, Bradley McCulloch has not been seen by his family members for more than a week. He was last spotted on November 4th in the Ladies Island area walking down the Sea Island Parkway near the dump. He was wearing a black hoodie with tan cargo pants and boots. McCulloch is a big guy at 6 foot 2 and weighing about 250 pounds. You're asked to contact the sheriff's office or call 911 if you see him. And we know our neighbors just north and south of us are a couple of the most popular tourist cities in the country. But just how friendly are Charleston and Savannah? Condé Nast Traveler magazine has been tracking how welcoming cities are for the last 37 years. This year, they have ranked three area cities in the top eight, most friendly in the country. Greenville is ranked fourth, the hostess city of Savannah is sixth, and Charleston, the holy city, is eighth for the friendliest folks. Chattanooga, Tennessee, Lexington, Kentucky, and Santa Fe, New Mexico are one, two, and three. The media sources on your screen will have more on these and other stories, and we would love for you to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram at WHHITV. And if you have an idea for a news story, we'd love to hear it, so drop us a line at news at WHHITV.com. And now here's Dustin Jarrett with what happened last night in the Loco. Hey, it's time for Last Night in the Loco on WHHI, powered by Locosports.com. And it's time to shine a light on a loco volleyball team that has earned the chance to play for a state championship. The May River girls volleyball team continued its incredible run through the Class 4A lower state playoffs with a 3-1 win at Aiken High on Tuesday as the Sharks stormed back after dropping the first set on the road to sweep the next three and punch their ticket to their first state championship match. May River emerged from a highly competitive Region 6 4A gauntlet as the number two seed and took down North Augusta and South Aiken in the first two rounds before knocking off Region champion Bishop England in five sets on the road Thursday night. The Sharks stumbled out of the gate last night, but they settled themselves after the rocky start and held off the Hornets the rest of the way with stellar defense and a well-oiled offense led by Belmont Abbey commit Lauren Swanson in the middle. It's the first state title match for the Sharks, who will take on perennial power Pickens in the Class 4A Championship at 10 a.m. Saturday at Dreher High School in Columbia. The Blue Flame have won a total of 15 state titles, most recently in 2014, when they beat Hilton Head in the Class 3A Championship. The Loco has doused the Blue Flame before, though. Bluffton beat Pickens for the 3A title in 2007, and Hilton Head claimed the 4A title at the Blue Flame's expense in 2020. The championship match will be streamed live on the Buford's own YouTube channel, so tune in at 10 a.m. Saturday or catch Monday's Loco Sports Lowdown for a full report. 
Join us tonight on the Loco Sports Lowdown, streaming live at 9.30 p.m. on the Loco Media Network. For Loco Sports and WHHI, I'm Justin Jarrett. Until next time, go Loco. Thanks, Justin. Well, although it's beautiful out there, it is a little cooler today. Is that going to continue? Let's find out with our Low Country Crawl Spaces weather and Maria Soden. Thanks, Betsy. Yep, so take a look ahead. It does look like we're going to see a little bit more rain this week, but then it should be clearing up in time for the weekend. So take a look at Thursday. It's going to be cloudy with scattered showers throughout the afternoon, and they will continue on into the evening. Hillness of a high 73, a low of 62. Bluffton's of a high 73, a low of 61. And Buford's of a high 73 and a low of 58. The sunrise for Thursdays meet at 651 and sunsets meet at 523. Taking a look at the tides, high tides meet at 729 a.m. and low tides meet at 2:30 p.m. Taking a look into the rest of the week and into the weekend, Friday is to be sunny to partly cloudy and it's going to stay clear into the evening as well. Highs to be in the upper 60s, lows to be in the low 50s. And then come Saturday and Sunday, it's going to be sunny with highs in the 60s and 70s and lows are going to be in the 50s. That's it for your low country crawl spaces weather. Let's send it back to the desk. Thanks, Maria. Coming up after a quick break, we're going to learn all about Operation Christmas Child. Stay tuned. <music>